Okay, in the studio today, we've uh, got Halfway to New York, fantastic band, uh, and this is going to be in conjunction with Bass Studios and Fred M Promotions. Okay then, guys, it's uh, really nice to have you down here at the Bass. It's great to be um, here. And uh, first of all, let's talk a little tiny bit about the band, how you got together, and also, what about the name? Right. <laughs> so, yeah, name. Uh, well, I mean, Russ and I started writing about two, two years ago, something like that, and... Uh, we wrote Out of Time, which is the first single that's coming out November the 14th. That's, um, we wrote that on the first day of writing. And um, so we soon sort of realised that there was some, some stuff that needed pursuing. Uh, we were writing some good music, so we got these guys together uh, on board that we've known for a few years. Okay. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. So did you actually pull the rest of the guys from just the circuit? Or did you yeah. know three <laughs> yeah. bands of other bands and friends yeah. of friends? Yeah, what sort of thing was it like? That's pretty much what you just said. I think yeah, we, we all we all played lots of other gigs and played for lots of other people. We all kind of knew each other for varying amounts right. of time mm. for different things. So it's a small world, know, kind of. Find the, find the best people that you know. And Excellent. Give them a call, and, we, and we when all, they can't all... do it, he called the rest of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. so. <laughs> right. But it, 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 it's that thing about gelling and really working together as a team, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it, it. We've. It's pretty lucky how well it's come together, personality-wise. Um, we don't have very many arguments, but we had to have a big blowout anyway. So, mm. so yeah, I think we're quite lucky like that. I think that transfers onto on stage as well. And when you're playing together as well, it's, if your personalities work, you can definitely tell with the band when they're performing. Yeah, yeah sure, 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 sure. Okay, so um, we've mentioned the single already. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about the single, the recording of it. Anything interesting about it? What should we expect from the first single from Halfway New York? It was just a great rock pop record. Basically, we tried to try to be quite um, quite simple and just stick to the kind of basics and try and do it really, really well. Um, nice catchy chorus, a couple of hooks in the verse, and try to keep it like that, really. Brilliant. Okay, and that's going to be through iTunes, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be out on iTunes and all the other, you know, Amazon and all those other digital distributors. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what about songwriting as a team then? We do, do, we've talked. Uh, about the two of you, are you main songwriters or do you work together as a team? Yeah, at the moment, um, Ross and I do the majority of the writing, we kind of get the bare bones of the song down um, and then we kind of do a demo of that song, just guitar and vocal, and then we send it to these guys. And we ruin and it for him. They, they, they ruin it. <laughs> 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 and the, you know, they, they've obviously got their own expertise and their own instruments and they kind of put their own flavour on it and then we workshop it and, uh, and then take it to the studio, yeah. Cool, excellent yeah. stuff. All right, so um, obviously you've played Starbridge uh, earlier in the month and it went down really, really well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you're back now uh, doing a schools tour. Uh, tell us a little bit about the schools tour. I mean, obviously I'm coming from an education background, so it's really interesting to work out your, uh, what you hope to achieve from the schools tour. Yeah. I mean, personally, I, th I think there can be quite a lot of stigma doing music at school. Um, Growing up, it could, it, sometimes it's um, it's deemed as sort of the uncool thing to do versus sport, and um, and I was just I just wanted to kind of get on board with the schools thing, just to say look, if you if you stick to what you what you actually want to do, and if it is music, then you know you could be in a band, you could do, you know, it's 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 not a it's quite a cool thing to do, yeah. <laughs> basically. Yeah. I'm saying. You can pursue it as a career as well. It is achievable. You just yeah. gotta really work at it. Yeah, and, it, and it's really good having you know, professional bands coming in, especially into the town and the studio, um, to actually keep that fire burning, really, and saying this is what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really, really cool. Okay, and what about 2012? What are we going to see from Halfway to New York in 2012? <laughs> Another single coming out in yeah. uh, early the year, probably mid February. Okay. I imagine. We're, we're hoping kind of album March, April time, roughly. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so still working with same producers and uh, yeah. At the moment, we're working with Simon Gogley, um, who won a, a, a Grammy for U2's "How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb," which is quite a credit to his name. So he's absolutely awesome, and we've learned a lot from him. And um, yeah, we might be working with other producers um, for the second half of the album. We've pretty much done the first half of the album, right? Um, but we'll see how that goes. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, Halfway to New York. We've had a great time. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank and enjoy guys. the acoustic track.
have to wait long into the night I thought I knew what's right But now you've gone I can't see black from white And I know, you know, I know that we're out of time But it's okay Something that I could not bear If it's all hot air If it's all hot air